So I'm just tuning in. I think there's a little bit of white on the reputation snake, but now she's she's mashed together. Folklore and Evermore. But I wonder where she's gonna put tortured poets. I guess in my mind I was thinking like right before midnight, even though like chronologically that doesn't make sense, but I don't think that she would change the closer. So one of the directions that I was banking on for the new album before it came out, I was like, oh, maybe she'll do more of like the art rock type of thing because she's a lean, or maybe, I don't know, I want to say like theater rock, like what she does with illicit affairs. And even this, you know, people had said, oh, Folklore and Evermore wouldn't translate well to being on tour, but instead she did like the grandiose versions, which I thought was really cool. I thought, oh, maybe she'll lean into that for the new album. And sound-wise, not necessarily as much, but she could give it the same treatment. So I'm thinking that she'll do Tortured Poet second to last, but that might not be true. She could do it last and make it like orchestral. All right, 1989. Yes, 1989 is happening. <laughs> what if she's wearing white? Yeah, I didn't get to see what she changed in the earlier parts. green what why what is she trying to say what <laughs> what is she telling us about this uh new like you're you're not allowed to know anything <laughs> she went down oh is there no acoustic set <gasps> there it is the page is coming down oh what is that unraveling there a road through the mountains cages everybody coming out in white oh my God. what's she in oh but daddy I love her I can't see her dress oh and it's like the Okay, so it's like a version, it's bu it's bunched up, but it looks like it's written on it. <sighs> oh my gosh. My dress, oh she's running! <laughs> Skin but daddy, I love him, I'm having his baby. No, I'm not, but you should see our faces. <laughs> but everything's also so kind of on fire. I love it.
Like, what you think? Everything comes out teenage It's like leaving trails now. It sounds like Fortnite. Oh, there we go. Um, I was gonna say she has to do the full single, or at least close uh -oh. to the full single. TT PD has like the bars. At least I think it's the bed. Is she gonna get on top of that? What's she gonna do? Yes. Ah! <laughs> no! No! Oh my gosh! I know she doesn't have any choice. Absolutely huge shout out, shout out to Tess absolutely crazy how she does all of this so okay how much should we lose okay. set makes me a little uncomfortable not gonna lie that's she's like six six feet in the air six seven feet in the air on this angled thing and that that dancer guy is having to go up and down that thingy at that incline what else and the shoulder pieces. Interesting. like the the vaudeville twenties thing. <gasps> With the jacket. Yes, yeah, so definitely doing like the nineteen thirties musical. So fun, so fun. Oh my god, it's the acoustic set! What is this dress? She's going this song that I've been wanting to play in the acoustic set on the Eras floor ever since, uh, ever since I wrote it. And uh, I was only going to play it uh, for the very first time in one specific city. <laughs> Any 
kissed her. Turns out it was that guy you hooked up with ages ago. No! <laughs> I just got back here. Oh! So anyway, that was really fun. I it's it's theater. She does love theater. She you know, she's a she's a theatrical lady. Fortnite she had to do what uh down bad makes sense i feel like that's gonna be a single opening with but daddy i love him was a fun choice i would i thought she was gonna just open with fortnite but she didn't she opened with but daddy i love him which was a much funner thing i love that she she added in so high school for funsies she had the black outfit underneath which was cool and it makes sense that she wouldn't just do another bodysuit uh, having the the kind of army and the drum line side to it was cool which again like that's where I kind of that imagery I think of as being um my boy only breaks his favorite toys it just kind of has that sound to it but she brought it in for the smallest man who ever lived which was that that was that was that was a good choice I wasn't sure if she was going to do that one as I was listening to it I'm like oh yeah this would be pretty powerful but like it was a statement piece it was it was big. I definitely like the look. And, you know, I can do it with a broken heart. Absolutely makes sense. But I didn't... I, I had seen the pictures with, you know, the canes and the fans. And so, you know, doing the, the vaudeville slash just kind of like the 30s musical aesthetic, which, which makes sense because that is one of the threads that goes through the album. And so when I figured that that was I can do it with a broken heart, but I didn't think that they would do sort of the full, that kind of dancey tuxedo look, which is in, oh, one of the, I think, you know what, you know what I think, I think it's been done a lot of times that, um, so I can't, I can't place one, but that absolutely sort of makes sense. And I like that angle because I just, I like any of the, the old Hollywood type stuff. That, that was really fun. I, I would love better footage of it. Maybe maybe somebody will have found and then I can find some better footage of the Tortured Poets set. <laughs> so much fun. All right. I will see you later. Bye.